So in today's video, we're going to figure out how to uh, get a gerbil inside of an Arduino. So that way you can run our CNC machine. So this is CNC machine part two. Two, two, yeah, two. Um, and uh, yeah, let's, uh, I already put the thing together. So you'll do some different jumpers depending on what exactly you're trying to do. But we're doing some micro stepping, so we need all the jumpers. Actually, need this one on there but i don't have enough jumpers i'm waiting on those to come in the mail they should be here today though so maybe maybe i'll get them on there i don't know yeah let's uh let's get this thing together so we're not going to put this on there first we're going to flash this thing with the firmware which is uh i believe the correct pronunciation of it is uh gerbil but uh a lot of idiots call it garble because the ceo of a certain company likes to call it that but it's it's gerbil. We're gonna call it gerbil. And this is what I like to imagine uh, is happening inside there. There's just a little gerbil inside a hamster wheel running a computer. So there we go. Let's uh let's get this guy inside here. We just gotta make him fit. So the first thing we gotta do to install our gerbil into our Arduino is there we go. Go on GitHub and then go to the official uh, repository for uh, Gerbil or Gerbil and uh, you just download it. So go click download, uh, download the zip file and it's going to be in your downloads folder. Uh, unzip it, go in there, pull that folder out. You don't even have to pull it out, but it just makes it easier. God, I need to clean up my downloads folder. So after you download it, Arduino, IDE, it's all we need. We're going to import it. So go to sketch, go to include library. I've already included it, but I'll still go through the steps. Go to wherever you downloaded it to. So mine's in the downloads folder. We just need to click on it and then click open. And that's all. It'll be included then because it'll do zips or regular folders. All right, so now that we've included it, it'll be in our example. So we'll go to example, scroll down, gerbil, upload gerbil. We got to plug in the board to the computer. Make sure we find it. Port. There we go. God damn it. Tools. Port. Port three. There we go. Now we can upload. So upload. All right, we have now successfully uploaded it. Okay, we now have our three gerbils. I would imagine there's three gerbils and then you gotta have one of them for each of these. So we got our gerbils in there. Let's get this guy on there. It is just gonna line up with RXTX to RXTX. Because um, yeah, there's not actually quite as many pins as there are on here. It doesn't go all the way up to uh, the pin 13 and all that. So let's go ahead and get that on. Actually, it might go to 13, uh, but it doesn't go all the way through those grounds. And there we go. Uh, that's all there is. Put the shield on there. You put these guys on there. Put your jumpers that you need on there. Okay, so let's do a quick little demonstration test here. Just taped on a, a needle because, you know, it's an instrument cluster channel. We're not a CNC channel, so let's uh, turn this thing into an instrument cluster. Uh, Alright, so for the software I'm running on the computers, I am just using uh, the Universal G-Code Sender. Uh, I'm using the platform version. It's the kind of newer one. But uh, let's uh, send it some commands. So there we go. I got it set up to move pretty quick. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty simple. We're just in jog mode over here. Let's see. You can't, probably can't see it, but there's the Y-axis and let's uh, the Z-axis there. Um, so all the motors are working, uh, and, and, and it works. This gets relatively warm. I mean, it's not burning hot, but if I set it to keep the motors on all the time, these get pretty hot pretty fast, um, which is the mode you would have it in for a CNC because you, you need the – when the motors are engaged, you, they kind of act as a brake, keeps, uh, keeps everything steady, sturdy. Uh, so it doesn't move around. So you would keep them engaged all the time. Uh, but yeah, it, I mean, it works. And, and this is a pretty decent build. I am probably not going to use the CNC 
shield in the final build. I, I think I'm going to use uh, some standalone uh, stepper drivers, but still have the gerbil uh, Arduino uh, commanding it all. So, and then just use universal G code sender, uh, do some designs in Fusion 360 and stuff like that. So please uh, subscribe, uh, like, and comment if you uh, if you like the CNC build because uh, I'm doing it. It's going to be on the channel. I, I don't care if you like it or not. It's going to be on the channel. Um, so there'll still be instrument clusters. There'll still be all the other stuff that I do. Uh, but yeah, the CNC build is happening and, uh, it's, it, I've, I've ordered everything for it already. So hopefully you like this. Hopefully this gives you a little insight into how to do, uh, Arduino's setup to run a CNC machine. And this applies to any machine you're trying to build here. This isn't specific to my machine that I'm building. Uh, I would not recommend driving the really large NEMA 17s, uh, with this cause uh, they are packed past its current rating, um, but it but it works. Uh, if you were going to run these full time with this, you need to put bigger heat sinks and put a fan on it all, um, to keep it nice and happy where it's at because you're above its rated power. Not a, You're not above it a lot. You're like half an amp over. Um, so, yeah, I've seen it where other guys are running it that way. The the guy that designed this whole build is running it that way. Uh, but he just upgraded to NEMA 23s uh, with a higher torque rating and thus meaning higher amperage. So he had to go to the uh, stepper drivers to... I don't know where this machine is going to end in this project if I'm going to... Uh, eventually upgrade to NEMA 23s. I don't think I'm going to need to. I think that the NEMA 17s are going to be fine. But I just want to go ahead and have everything in place so that way if i decide to upgrade or make changes in the future it's all there so yeah um yeah this should this should be a useful video though so uh, i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in the next one